लथुआ न्यूज के स्टूडियो से नवीनतम अपडेट भारत की माननीय राष्ट्रपति श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू ने मेघालय की राज्य की पहली यात्रा के सम्मान में मेघालय सरकार द्वारा राजभवन शिलोंग में उनका नागरिक अभिनंदन किया गया 16 जनवरी 2024 को माननीय राष्ट्रपति व मेघालय के माननीय राज्यपाल श्री फागू चौहान मुख्यमंत्री श्री कॉन्रद के संगमा मेघालय की स्वास्थ्य और परिवार कल्याण मंत्री डॉक्टर एम अम्प्रेन लिंगडो और संयुक्त किरम्बा स्नो के महासचिव श्री आर ग्ला सहित अन्य गणमान्य व्यक्ति द्वारा अपने संबोधन में माननीय राष्ट्रपति श्रीमती द्रौपदी मुर्मू ने मेघालय की प्राकृतिक सौंदर्यता की सराहना करते हुए भारत के राष्ट्रपति के रूप में अपनी पहली यात्रा पर गर्म जोशी से किए गए स्वागत के लिए राज्य सरकार और मेघालय के लोगों को धन्यवाद दिया कई विकास परियोजना के उद्घाटन पर प्रसन्नता व्यक्त करते हुए उन्होंने आशा व्यक्त की कि इसे राज्य की अर्थव्यवस्था को बढ़ावा मिलेगा और समावेशी और समाग्र विकास होगा पर्यटन संबंधी गतिविधियों के लिए मेघालय के अवसरों और संभावनाओं का हवाला देते हुए माननीय राष्ट्रपति ने मेघालय पर्यटन नीति 2023 को दोबारा और शिलोंग में अंतर्राष्ट्रीय पर्यटन मार्ग के आयोजन सहित राज्य सरकार द्वारा कार्यान्वित विभिन्न पर्यटन संबंधी परियोजना की सराहना की और कहा कि इस तरह की पहल से राज्य और समग्र रूप से उत्तर पूर्व क्षेत्र की पर्यटन क्षमता के बारे में जागरूकता पैदा करने में काफी मदद मिलेगी भारत सरकार के एक इस नीति के हवाला देते हुए माननीय राष्ट्रपति ने सिफारिश की कि मेघालय और सभी उत्तर पूर्व राज्य के इस क्षेत्र की राजनीतिक स्थिति को देखते हुए पूर्वोत्तर में कनेक्टिविटी रोजगार और बुनियादी ढांचे को सुनिश्चित करने के लिए मिशन मोड में काम करे इस अवसर पर खासी गारो और जातिया जनजातियों के अनूठी परंपराओं और रीति रिवाजों को प्रदर्शित करने वाला एक सांस्कृतिक कार्यक्रम भी आयोजित किया गया
Meghalaya as its name suggests is a land of celestial beauty with its exceptional serenity Shilong has inspired writers, seers, freedom fighters, and revolutionaries. Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore's creativity got stimulated by the surroundings of his region, and, the, and he wrote the novel Seser Kobita. At St. Edmunds College, Netaji Subhash Chandra was delivered a staring speech for freedom. Swami Vivekananda in Quinton Memorial Hall, presently known as Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Cultural Center, famously compared life as akin to a pilgrimage. I would also recall freedom fighter Yusip Charan, who supported the non-cooperation movement it was here in Silong in 1945 that youth hosted the Indian national flag on the real one ground with the slogan, Bande Mataram. It is indeed a great privilege to visit Meghalaya, the land where nature's bounties and people's simplicity are in abundance. I am deeply touched by the warm reception given to me by the government and people of Meghalaya. Known for its unique, hospitable, cultural, crystal clear Dauki River, famous road bridge, numerous natural caves, beautiful climate and breathtaking landscape, Meghalaya seems like a place right out of a fairy tale where clouds dual and magic abounds. It gives me immense pleasure to say that I have inaugurated various projects which will boost the economy of Meghalaya and the country and aid in the process of inclusive and holistic development. My visit coincides with the laying of foundation stone for the new integrated administration complex at Tura. I hope this enhances good governance and helps make administration more people-centric. Ladies and gentlemen, Meghalaya holds great opportunities and potential for tourism-related activities. The government is implementing many projects for the development of tourism infrastructure. Some projects which are being undertaken include development of Umiyom Lake View and Orchid Lake Resort, Khudai and Kahmang Falls in West Khasi Hills, Krangsuri Falls in Jayantia Hills, Nokrek Reserve, Kotabil and Siju Caves in Garo Hills. During this visit, I have also inaugurated many projects such as the improved Rongjeng Mongsong Edogre and the upgradation of Mairang Reni Godown Ajra Road. The foundation stone was also laid for the Selong Peak Ropuye project and village accommodation in Kong Thong. I congratulate the and extend my best wishes to Governor Sri Pagu Chauhanji and Chief Minister Sri Conrad Sangmaji for the successful completion of these projects. Last year, in November, the 11th edition of the International Tourism Mart was also organized in Silong. I am happy to know that a bigger platform is being provided to interact and create awareness about the tourism potential of Northeast region. I will be a great help in highlighting unique tourism project products, rich biodiversity, and unique intangible heritage, including local traditions, 
dance forms, arts, handicrafts, and handlooms to not only dom democratic, domestic, but also an international audience. In June 2023, the Meghalaya Tourism Policy 2023 was also launched. I congratulate CM Sangmaji for this, as it will help Meghalaya to increase and augment tourism potential sustainably and responsibly. Ladies and gentlemen, not only in areas of tourism, but in other sectors such as agriculture, information technology, horticulture, etc., Meghalaya holds great potential. Initiatives like the Silong IT Park and the Meghalaya Broadband Policy 2018 have helped Meghalaya's IT sector achieve new heights. A vibrant IT ecosystem, educational institutions such as NIT and IIM combined with pleasant weather and lower operational cost give Meghalaya a competitive advantage to be a global hub for IT services in this era of data and information. With a high average annual rainfall and a diverse range of soil types, Meghalaya has emerged as the leading producer of not only traditional crops such as rice, maize, pulses, oils, seeds, cotton, jute, etc., but also of non-traditional crops like tea, cashew nuts, tomato, mushrooms, wheat, etc. I appreciate the state produce, produces a significant amount of fruits and spices too. Ladies and gentlemen, Meghalaya's heritage can be traced for the prehistoric times of the Stone Age. And next week, you will be celebrating 52 years of statehood. Let me congratulate you in advance for completing this fascinating journey of statehood. Meghalaya is one of the Australopithe states. When Indian turn to east in obeisance, we pray sun god as the source of light and seek to dispel the shadows of ignorance and evil. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, it will be correct to say that there cannot be Bharat Udoy without Purva Udoy. The government is working in mission mode to ensure connectivity employment and infrastructure in Northeast. With Look East evolving into Act East, the government envisages the Northeastern uh, Eastern states as India's gateway to Southeast Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, last month I addressed the Lakpati Didi program of self-help groups in Rajasthan. I addressed SSGs here also. I am delighted to know that the SSGs are playing an important role in value addition and supply chain. I was told that the Meghalaya Collective's brand showcases diverse products and connects communities. The Meghalaya is initiative builds customer networks and enhances market resp responsiveness. Platforms like the Northeast Food Show and APIDA foster buyer-seller interactions. The focus program identifies and promotes production clusters of marketable produce like the Queen Pineapple known for its... Latwa News Studio Navintam Update.